How's everybody doing today? Um, this video isn't exactly a rant, um, but it isn't a heavily edited video either. I'm just gonna put on some gameplay footage in the background, maybe some images to help what I'm talking about. But this video is kind of in response or in reaction to some of the comments that I got on this video. If you haven't seen this video, it's basically a meme about SpongeBob where I replace some names in this scene from SpongeBob. And a big message people took away from it was lol, wow bad, Final Fantasy good, which you know, was funny, but like that's not the entire story. Some people in the comments have looked at the end of the video where um, World of Warcraft decides, wow, Final Fantasy is pretty good. I'm gonna snub it, and then I show all the different dates where uh, World of Warcraft releases a piece of content at the same time or right before a piece of Final Fantasy content. And there's way more than like the two I showed. They, they've done this tons of times. Somebody was like, wait, I don't get that. What, what, is, what is that saying? Um, and this is kind of to explain how World of Warcraft not only goes about snubbing Final Fantasy, but also how that's really, really, really bad not just for Final Fantasy, but also for World of Warcraft and kind of the entire MMO genre. First, I'm gonna go off on a tangent and talk about Call of Duty. So back in the day, I never really played any Call of Duty games. My first Call of Duty game ever was Black Ops 1 in 2010, I think I was 12. Most of the time I was like, I don't wanna play any fucking Call of Duty. I'm playing Super Mario Sunshine. I'm playing fucking Wind Waker. I'm playing fucking World of Warcraft. Why would I wanna play Call of Duty? I don't wanna shoot guns. And then Black Ops came out and my friend played zombies with me and I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. So then I, I played Black Ops 1 and I really enjoyed it. You know, at the time people were like, man, Black Ops 1 ain't that good. But looking back, it is one of the best Call of Duties. And it was also kind of like the beginning of the end for the Call of Duty franchise at the time. Back then, people were crazy for Modern Warfare 2 and World at War and Modern Warfare 1 and even Black Ops 1. People loved Call of Duty. It was great. And people didn't really shit talk Call of Duty back then. They were just people shit talking Halo and Halo players shit talking Call of Duty. And it was either you played one or the other or you played both. And it was good, healthy xbox live competition you know people calling each other f words and saying that they fucked your mom good times but that all kind of changed around the time when halo reach came out it was the last halo game that bungie worked on then they uh sold the halo rights to microsoft and halo games started coming out way less frequently the quality was completely different it wasn't what people wanted and halo was kind of off the radar and then people were just, just playing Call of Duty after Call of Duty after Call of Duty. And they just kept on pumping out games because they had multiple studios, right? It wasn't like they spent one year making every one of these games, right? They had multiple studios making these games and then rotating one in every year. You know, they even picked up another studio so they'd have another year to work on these games. But they were still getting worse and worse and worse. People were memeing on Call of Duty. Call of Duty has been a huge meme in the gaming landscape for years, right? Like something that's like so beaten that you don't it's not even fun to make fun of like justin bieber right it's something you don't care about making fun of because of it's so so dead and buried but this wasn't really a problem because even though things like battlefield and borderlands existed call of duty was really the first person shooter right you had people playing csgo but it didn't really have the same audience didn't really have the same people that wanted to play it right people didn't want to play a high high pace multiplayer online Xbox Live shooter and go and play CSGO, right? They played Call of Duty or Halo, and Halo was gone and shitty for the most part, so nothing really changed. And then Destiny came along and revolutionized the Borderlands formula. Things like Titanfall came by, and eventually Fortnite came by and, you know, popularized Battle Royales, and then suddenly there's, you know, Apex being a a popular battle royale there's fortnite there's destiny all of these things are hitting different niches and call of duty is just sitting there looking like a fossil and they're like oh shit people are laughing at us nobody's playing black ops uh what seven nobody's playing black ops seven we gotta do something so then they come out with modern warfare and the story is like whoa pog this is awesome and then they come out with warzone which is basically like PUBG on steroids made by a triple a company and now suddenly nobody makes fun of call of duty anymore nobody shit talks call of duty anymore everybody's like holy shit this is awesome people love warzone why 
because they actually made a good game. They didn't just get lucky like, oh yeah, this Call of Duty just so happens to be the only good one we've made in 10 years. No, they made it good because they had to make it good. They had all this competition from multiple different angles. It's like, oh yeah, the people who like zombies, they're playing Destiny. The people who like competitiveness, they're playing fucking Apex. The people who like yelling at each other and calling each other motherfuckers, they're playing Fortnite. We don't have any audience now, so they had to make their own thing. They tried it in Black Ops 4 last minute, and it kind of fucked up. But then they had time to work on it for Warzone, and it was a resounding success. And now people care about Call of Duty. Now, what the fuck does this huge tangent have to do with World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy. Okay, so World of Warcraft is the first MMO ever. It is the first MMO that has ever come out. Now, you might be thinking, no, you're, no it isn't, you stupid fucking Zoomer. There was tons of MMOs before. There were fucking mud MMOs that were on dial-up internet where they were text-based, and they were from like 20 years before WoW came out. There was like 16, what, what, what the fuck is that game called? EverQuest expansions before MUD came out. Yeah, dog shit EverQuest expansions before WoW came out. Of course MMOs existed. And you're right, but nobody knew about MMOs. Nobody knew what the fuck MMORPG was. What is that, some kind of fucking missile? Is that some kind of nuclear weapon? What the fuck is an MMORPG? And then suddenly World of Warcraft comes out and everybody goes, Oh, this is the MMORPG. This is what those people were talking about. And WoW has basically done that for 15 years. And for a while, WoW was creative. WoW did new things. WoW improved, it innovated, and it just get be better and worse and better and worse. And it was just, you know, it was its own thing. But recently, you know, most of the team is gone. Most of the team is left and corporatization has taken over and realized, hey, uh, we kind of got a monopoly over here on the MMO genre. So let's use it. I'm about to say something that might not blow anybody's mind, but it's completely fucking true. It needs to be said. World of Warcraft is so monopolized of the MMO market and MMO players are so fucking badly beaten that World of Warcraft only needs to make one good piece of content every four years. Once every four years. Okay? Timeless Isle was a pretty good piece of content. Alright? Uh, fucking Siege of Orgrimmar, pretty good piece of content. This is the beginning of where it all started. Then Warlords of Draenor was trash for two years. And then Legion came out, right? Two years later, it's like, oh, fuck, finally, a good piece of content after two years. And, you know, when Legion came out, it was pretty good. And as Legion went on, it didn't necessarily get worse, but it didn't necessarily get better. It just kind of stayed the same and was stagnant for two years. And then BFA came out, and there was a huge drop in quality, and it was bad for two years. And then now, four years later... Uh, fucking Shadowlands is coming out and everybody's getting hyped. Everybody's gonna come play their fucking World of Warcraft again after four years of it being dog shit. The audience is still there. They're still gonna play the game. Why? Because it is the MMO. It's always been the MMO. There's no other MMOs. They don't exist. But this isn't fucking true. They are out there. They do exist. You can go play them. And most of them are dog shit. But a lot of them aren't dog shit. But every WoW player thinks that all of them are dog shit. And this is really bad. This is a very, very bad mentality to have, right? Because if everything is dog shit and World of Warcraft is the best, then that means everything that World of Warcraft puts out is good. So if you are looking at the Final Fantasy community and not even considering them, not even looking at their systems, not even considering a single thing in that game and thinking, could this work in WoW? Is this better than in WoW? Is this worse than in WoW? If you're not even looking at the game, then it doesn't have a fucking chance. World of Warcraft snubbing Final Fantasy every single time they release a new piece of content sucks. But the community's like, yeah, fuck Final Fantasy. Yeah, Blizzard number one. I love Blizzard. And then on the other side of the fence, the Final Fantasy players are like, oh, oh, please give our MMO a chancy wancy. Oh, we need more players to buy store mounts. We have two idiots fighting each other. And this is the widespread fucking controversy. Nobody takes either of these fucking games seriously anymore. Nobody get, takes World of Warcraft serious anymore because they know it's a piece of dog shit. And nobody takes Final Fantasy serious because nobody takes Final Fantasy serious. Which basically leaves WoW with a fucking monopoly. Alright? And WoW snubbing Final Fantasy doesn't help anything. It doesn't grow, and WoW stays number one. And since it stays number one, that means it doesn't have to improve anything. That means it doesn't have to innovate anything. That means they can release one subpar piece of content every four years, and its player base will stay and suck them off because their player base is too stubborn 
to fucking try out a different fucking game. And some of you might say something like, I want to try out new MMOs. I want to play the new shit. I'm waiting for Ashes of Creation. I'm waiting for New World. And if they're good, they're going to be fucking fantastic. But that's not good enough. Because, like it or not, World of Warcraft is and has always been a theme park MMO. It may have been a little bit more sandboxy back in Classic, but it was still a fucking theme park MMO. Every single zone was a different attraction, every raid was a different attraction, it was a theme park MMO. New World and fucking Ashes of Creation are sandbox MMOs on crack. They do not compete market-wise with World of Warcraft at all, besides being an online massively multiplayer role-playing game. That's it. Final Fantasy is an actual fucking theme park MMO. They both are. And that's not a fucking detriment. That's not some kind of slander. That's just what they are. You like playing WoW, you like playing a theme park MMO. You should try out other theme park MMOs to compare and contrast, see different systems, and wonder what works and what can this game improve on. All right? Letting a game monopolize your fucking wallet isn't doing you any favors. It's just making World of Warcraft go, fuck it, we already have their money, we don't have to improve. And at the same time, since the Final Fantasy community is so small and insular and doesn't change because nobody joins, it just keeps on getting full of more and more dick suckers who are more and more excited to buy the new fucking store mount. It's, it's trash for both communities. And really, the best thing for most people to do is to just play both games. That's why I play both games, because they're both good in their own ways. And maybe, just maybe, people playing WoW less will make WoW stand the fuck up and try to improve itself. But yeah, uh, too long didn't watch. Um, MMO, bad. Because Monopoly, bad.